are narcissists happy? Do they experience pleasure or contentment? Are they satisfied with the quality and standard of their lives? Many people wonder if the narcissist is actually happy or not. They will often pretend to be happy. And you may not feel happy when you are around them when you are constantly being invalidated or gaslighted. But is happiness something that the narcissist can experience? The truth is that everyone is capable of experiencing some level of happiness. But there are different levels. So the level of happiness a normal person might feel isn't something a narcissist will ever get to experience. Narcissists also don't tend to experience happiness over a long period of time. It isn't consistent. They might get a short burst of happiness when they get what they want or when they obtain new supply. They might get a little high when they put people down. But it doesn't last for long. Narcissists are very sensitive people. It doesn't take much to set them off. It doesn't take much to make them angry or upset. So their happiness doesn't last for long. They always go back to their emotional set point. And even when they are happy, it's not at the same level that we might experience. Narcissists find happiness in hurting people, putting them down, making them feel bad, or using people to feed their egos. That's their idea of happiness. And when you think about it, it isn't real happiness anyway. Happiness is supposed to come from within. While a narcissist's idea of happiness is always based on something they obtain from a person or obtain an an object. The narcissist has shallow emotions. They don't have much depth. They cannot experience the same level of happiness as you can. They may look happy. And they will often exaggerate it. If they want to get your attention. Or if they want to make you feel like they're happy without you. But you may remember that it was only a moment ago that they were really angry. Or maybe they will go from being happy to being angry very quickly. Their emotions change so quickly because they're very shallow. They might feel happy when someone attends to them or admires them. They might feel happy when they get their way. Or when something bad happens to someone they hate. But it's not the same level of happiness that we might experience. Even if the narcissist had a perfect day. Maybe it's their birthday and they've just arrived at their surprise party. 
the sun is shining. And it's exactly the right temperature that they like. All of their friends and family are there. They're all perfectly dressed in the way that the narcissist would like. The food is exactly what they would like. It's their idea of a perfect day. And everything is exactly how they would want it to be. But then one thing doesn't go right. Maybe there's a speck of dust on one of the tables. Maybe one of their friends is wearing a dress that they don't like. Then that perfect day would become one of the worst days of their lives. They would be miserable. And you might be so confused. After you went through all of that effort to make everything perfect for them. But then they went from being really happy to being angry or upset so quickly. It's because narcissists think and feel very differently than we do. It doesn't even need to be a perfect day for us to be happy. Even if things go wrong, we're still good. We can still deal with it. But the narcissist will be very upset. Or they might explode into a rage. And it makes you wonder if they were ever happy at all. It's because their emotions are shallow. They can change very quickly. It's like you're walking on thin ice whenever you're around them. Anything could make them crack. While with a normal person, their emotions wouldn't change so quickly. They wouldn't change as often. A normal person's emotions will remain pretty consistent throughout the day. While a narcissist's emotions will change from one moment to the next. They could shift through different emotions a hundred times a day. While for most people, their mood wouldn't fluctuate as much. There may be times where you are both happy. Or at least it may seem that they are happy. But then they see something that they don't like. Or they're sensitive to someone's criticism. And then suddenly they're angry again. The question you need to ask yourself is if you can remain happy even when they're angry. Or do their negative emotions affect your mood? You may find that you are always walking on eggshells around the narcissist. You may experience this feeling of dread or hesitation to interact with them because you never know what might set them off. You never know what might make them angry or upset. Because their happiness is very shallow, 
They don't experience deep happiness. It's like looking after a baby. You never know when they're going to throw a tantrum. You never know when they're going to need to be burped or fed. But at least with a baby, you are able to comfort them. You can calm them down. You can make everything better. You don't get that with a narcissist because you're dealing with a menace. Someone who is likely to cause harm to you. More often than not, they are miserable. And hurt people do hurt people. Which is why they do the things that they do. There are only these rare windows of opportunities where the narcissist gets to experience happiness. But even then, it's not the level of happiness that we might experience. And maybe that's why they're so miserable. Maybe that's why they treat us the way that they do. Because no matter what they do, they can never find what they're looking for. They can never find true happiness. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsfiver.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.